Welcome back to So Sick Airways, you guys. It's the only way to fly. It's your boy Captain Rob, and as you can see, we moved into this really nice new swank apartment. Um, the guys, the old tenants, whoever used to live here, they've left the barbecue here, which is nice. Very, very kind of them. We'll get some uh, some big old T-bones on that grill later. Oh yeah. But for now, as you can see, I haven't moved. I haven't moved much stuff in. So. Um, because, yeah, as you can see, we haven't, we haven't moved much of our stuff in yet because this delivery trucks are still waiting to come. But um, but what we did, the way we, how we got here, uh, oh, he's he left his truck as well. Why would you leave your truck? That's a nice truck. Can we drive it? No. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. What matters is this beast. Oh, yeah. We're back in the kit box, you guys. And, yes, we've bought Trent Palmer's place. Oh, we're going to take this bad boy out for a spin in the Idaho backcountry. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys, normally I would start this back off by um, getting in the cockpit, but uh, uh, look, at, look at this thing. Oh, my good God. As much as I love this aircraft, I, I'm not in it enough, man. I'm not in it enough. I really, really hope that the, when the new one comes out, the kit foxes are just straight across transferred because... This would just be so great to walk around, you guys. We kind of are walking around it with a drone, to be fair. But to be able to check it and stuff, check the oil and shit. Oh, check those hydraulics down there on the suspension. That would just be an absolute dream. It would be amazing. Don't you think? Okay, so welcome to the cockpit and the Kit Fox 2. Hmm, yeah. I do love this aircraft. I'm not entirely sure how the hell I'm going to get it out of this hangar. Um, considering I've come in this way, but uh, we will have to see, won't we? So, um, hmm, don't think you can push it, can you? So I think the best thing we're going to do is we're just going to do a little cheat. So we're just going to go into slew mode, which I believe is Y. Yep, there we go. And we're just going to, oh, is there a way to, there we go. We'll just do, we'll come to about, here there we go to be fair that is probably where we would have pushed it out to anyway um so we've done all our outside inspections we've got our seat belts secured the doors are that one's open let's just fasten that just for the sake of doing it again don't need a bag there uh okay cool so let's rock and roll so let's get our fuel pump on uh, we'll get our start on, master battery on, lane one, lane two. Fuel pumps A and B both on. They come on simultaneously, which is good. Let's get our strobe on so people know that we're about to, to get our um, engine rocking and rolling. Get our cabin light on just in case things get a bit gloomy in here. I don't think they will, but just in case. Um, and yeah, start her up. Uh, clear prop. Cool, avionics on. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do for this flight, you guys, we're just we're literally just gonna head off into the wilderness for shits and gigs. Because why the hell not? And obviously, as you guys know, Trent Palmer, this is his place. Um, not anymore though. <laughs> now it's mine. Hey, at least in the sim it is. Um, oil temperature. We want to get that into the green. So we're just going to rock this RPM up to about 200. Two thousand even, sorry. 
Yeah, there are thereabouts. Get ourselves out of all those yellows. Let's just turn off our start power there. Keep our fuel pumps on just until we've got green across the board. Um, let's just have a look. Is there a way to just look at that screen? There we go. Okay, let's just pump it up a little bit more. There we go. Oil PSI is in the green. Good. Oil temperature. It's in Fahrenheit. To work out Fahrenheit to Celsius, you take away 30 and then divide what's left by 2. We want 50. So take away 30 from that, divide it by 2. You probably look at it about. Yeah, that's about right. I'll let us know anyway when it goes green. Got half a tank of fuel, which is great. That's enough, that's all we need. Okay, things are looking good. So let's just go back to our main screen. Boom. There we go. Uh, hmm. Do you want to hear ATC? I don't think you would ever hear ATC all the way up out, out here, would you? No, I don't think you would. So we don't bother that. I'm um, just going to go to halfway flaps. It's full flaps. Halfway flaps. Controls are all clear, uh, etc. Great. So let's just um, calm ourselves down on the old throttle here and just level ourselves up with the runway. There we go. Okay, so we don't have much runway to work with here. It's very short. Um, I imagine truck probably starts all the way back here, but we are not going to do that. We're just going to start from here, I think. That's okay. I think we've got enough to deal with. Um, uh, yeah, about that is pretty good, isn't it? Okay, let's go. Let's lock. The old back wheel here, there we go, and we're up. Look at that. No messing about at all. Let's get our flaps up, yep, cool. Full throttle, and let's fucking get cracking. Okay, where the hell are we gonna go? Um, some strange stuff going on there, I don't know what that is. Some breaks in the scenery, maybe? Fence? We saw this fence, couldn't it? Yeah, it could be. Okay, so we don't really know where we're going to go here, so I'm just going to fly into these mountains here and see what happens, just for a laugh. It's obviously early morning here by looks of things. Oh yeah, nice. You guys have seen my other video, I did this in a hawk the other day. <laughs> the exact same thing. Um, it's going a lot faster, obviously. Yeah, alright, no, I'm going too fast, chill out. We're alright, don't worry. Look at that, yeah! So we got these wheels. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Thank God for bush to wheels, eh? Or tires, whatever we call them. Tires, probably. <clears throat> Hundred twenty-seven knots. We're going pretty quick here. I think we're doing all right. Going in. Oh, 
There we go. This is the thing about the kit box, you know, you guys, it's such a sick ass aircraft to fly. It's like literally, you can just fling it around, do what you want with it, and it does not give on you, ever. It's there every step of the way. It's like a, it's like a little obedient dog, you know, just loves you unconditionally, no matter what you do to it. Not that I beat up dogs or anything, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I hope. Let's just buzz these guys' houses, yeah, woo! We got a fuel pump stop by sounds of things. We turn this off. So yeah, so at the moment we are absolutely revving the tits off this engine. We should probably slow it down a little bit, but I don't really want to. I want to kind of keep it full throttle because I like going fast. Let's just uh, let's just land it a second. I love it when you can see the shadow, that's so, so sick. Just come on down. Throttle right down, there we go, throttle right down. I'm going to stay level. What is this seam here though? Is this seam? It's a bit naft, isn't it? A bit naft? A bit naft. That's made up a word. Some real open ground here. Let's get back to those mountains. Let's build up some speed. Don't try us at home, that is. I hear everyone saying. Definitely don't try us at home. If you found this video because you want to buy the kit box, Leave it on this fence about it. You can't decide if you want it or not. Get it. It's the sickest aircraft there is. It's just so awesome. It's a really, really lovely aircraft to fly. You want to go to the Peril 42 website to get it. Go straight to the developer. Get it from them. You can, of course, go through the Microsoft um, Marketplace, but uh, obviously they take a cut. So, just bear that in mind. If you want to go straight to the developer, that's the best way to go because then you're going to you're going to obviously line a bit more of their pockets. But of course, if you go for the marketplace, you can have you know updates regularly and all that kind of jazz and do it that way, which is of course great. But you know, it is what it is, right? I'm sure, you guys can decide what you'd like to do. One way or another, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one day. Maybe next week, I'm gonna beat you. I'll beat you, I'll beat you. Bit of blonde. Woo! Let's land on this bitch. Let's go full flaps. Straight and level. Bam! 
boss. Yeah, that was a bad one. Who the hell's that guy? Some dude floating off into the distance in... What the hell's that? Is that a car just going backwards and forwards in there? Some dude driving across the desert. You want to come and help? No? It's going to leave me here, eh? Yeah. Well, thanks a bunch. Well, you guys. Um, oh, he's back. <laughs> thanks for joining us, Sosic Airways. I'm Captain Rob. I hope you guys got a good idea of the fire. The, the kit box is pretty cool. If you haven't got it, you got to get it. And this is the Idaho Backcountry. Check it out. Okay. Later, you guys. Adios. Ta-ta for now.